Hi. So I wanted to, to show my sort feature that I added onto my car index. So when I click this button, it's going to has an event listener attached to it, which causes us to we're going to make a copy of our cars dot all array and uh, sort sort that copy and re-render these cards. So it sorts them alphabetically. And I will show you the code that does that. Then we have another event listener just to reset based off of the original cars.all array. So basically you could, for each button, you could just have different copies of the main collection, just sort them the different ways and then display, change the display with um, all of these little cards here. Just kind of uh, just render them, clear, clear everything in the, in the div here. There's a div basically at this point. You just clear that div and then just re-render, re but using that new sorted array as your, as your base. So the code here, let's go to that. So when this page loads, we have render all cars body class method. So it's going to, it creates a uh, div element. It's going to wrap everything, content wrapper. And then anything in that div is the, is those cards. So um, let's see here on line 51, that was an important line to add because each time we hit the, if we hit alphabetical or if we're going to have another button in there, we're going to call this uh, call this method. We're going to grab the element, the main uh, div, and then we just want to clear that uh, um, inner HTML. Otherwise, it's just going to keep appending more cards on there. So, just this line is kind of worth mentioning because um, it was just one line, but actually is uh, very important when you're enabling the filter feature. So, and here we come down to line 60. And all this could be put in a, another method, um, probably with refactoring, because they're just all event listeners. Um, but here we have the, uh, the sort cars button, event listener, and then also the reset cars button, event listener, or um, button that we've grabbed and then event listeners just beneath them. So for the, the sort cars button, we go to handle sort click. That's here on line 76. And I'm basically rendering that, uh, calling that, that same function again, but I'm passing in this basically key, key system that I have. So it knows what to do based off of what string it gets. So we want it to be sorted. So we come back up here. Now this time through, we're going to have an argument. And really that's going to make some action happen on line 57. Because this line 57 generates all the cards. And so now we're going to have an argument going through there. So let's go down to that method. So cars all HTML, and this time it's going to have an argument of sorted. So first we declare the, uh, declare the variable. Uh, that way just everything, it hoists and everything runs smoothly just for this particular setup. And then if it's sorted, if that's what it equals, then we make collection equal to our this.sorted cars method. Let's go up there. So 
So here on line 86. Uh, on line 90, we make a copy of the cars.all array. That way we're not uh, destructively modifying it or destructively sorting it. And then basically the rest of this method 91 to 101, uh, we have the JavaScript sort method. And so how the algorithm they built, how it works, just kind of a little overview is um, we have three values here um, that can be returned based off the conditions if it's uh, greater than or, or less than or, or equal to be negative one, one, and zero. And so these have to do with the, the indexes, um, what placement they're going to assign uh, these, uh, these elements. So it's going to put them at the appropriate index so that it's, it's sorted um, per the, the conditions that I, that I have here. So, and then the same works with, uh, it works easily with uh, alphabetical, um, I guess, words. Words you would say, um, like an A would be um, a lesser value than a, a Z. So now we come down to back to our method. So we've uh, assigned the collection and we're going to map over that collection. And here, um, car cards is, uh, is going to return all of the cards in, in the proper order. Let's go back up to line 57. So we make the inner HTML equal to those uh, newly sorted cards and then append that, that child to the content wrapper and then fire all the event listeners. And basically that process can just um, start over again. So you can just keep adding more filters and uh, just, yeah, have a blast with that. Briefly, line 63, reset cars button actually kind of spelled, uh, have a misspelled, but it still works. Um, didn't break anything, I'll have to fix that. So reset cars um, button. It, the callback here is a handle reset click. So here's that, that method. For, for some reason, I don't know with my uh, this, but this wasn't working. Um, so that's why I kind of have it, it says cars, but car there. So, but anyways, um, I'll keep going. The handle reset click calls the render all cars body, but without an argument. So it's just going to, um, when it comes to car, when it comes to line 57, there's not gonna be an argument. So just to go back through, just to be thorough, it, there will be no argument here. So by default, it's going to use the cars.all um, array and just render it back to how it was before. So that's the feature on the front end and then this is how it worked with the code. So hope you enjoyed it.